according to the bill's sponsors. The goal is to go from a piecemeal reactionary approach to a consistent and coordinated plan. Oh, no. Yay. Slow, uneven, and frustrating are some of the words lawmakers are using to describe Maryland's vaccination rollout. Lawmakers are considering emergency legislation requiring the state health department to submit a comprehensive vaccination plan to the General Assembly by April 1st. This legislation would have a plan that is reviewed by the legislature and is a, a sounder way to go about it than what we've done so far. The emergency legislation requires the state to come up with categories of residents who will get priority access to vaccines, a timeline for providing vaccines, resources to get vaccines to senior citizens living in their homes, and an education campaign to register for vaccinations. We're the policymaking body, and we want to work with the executive branch. We want to work with the governor, uh, and we want to work with the Senate. But on behalf of the people that we represent. A separate vaccination bill seeks a two-year plan from the state to cover testing, contact tracing, and vaccinations. The reason why this is different and it's needed is because it's cohesive. It's one plan. Right now, the governor's office has allowed the different Department of Health to basically do the vaccination. A lot of them are in different phases, right? The legislation includes establishing a health jobs core to provide enough manpower to carry out the vaccination plan. It requires a work group to monitor progress. The bill calls for $54 million to $98 million for funding to local jurisdictions for testing, contact tracing, and vaccinations. This is a coordinated way, consistent way to do it across the state so that everyone is on the same table and we have the same expectations. According to one of the bill's sponsors, the Hogan administration is officially taking a neutral position. However, they pledge to help develop a statewide plan. Reporting from Annapolis, David Collins, WBAL-TV 11 News.